Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Demon Say Eight here. You asked for it, and I'm giving it to you. The iPhone Apple Touch 3.0 jailbreak. Now I'm gonna try to make this quick and easy. So I might talk. I'm, I might talk a little bit quick, but please bear with me. Okay, so what you need? You need an iPhone Apple Touch and a USB cable. Now this works for every single iPod, and it was for the first gen iPhone and second gen. And it does not work for the iPhone 3GS. So if you have a 3GS only, then don't look at this video. Just look away. Um, okay, so iPhone iPod, USB, and computer. Of course, you need a computer. So, um, once you have those, just go to your computer to this website called redsnow.com. It's right up there. Let me see if I can focus it a little bit. Redsnow.com. Now, the um, it's actually red SN0W because that's not an O, that's a zero. So, I will, I will have it in the description, so don't really worry about it. And this is what you'll see. So click on info here, the blue one, and scroll the way down. Now, depending on whether you have a Windows or a Mac, click on either one of these. So I have a window, I have a Windows PC, so I'm gonna click on any one of the windows. Um, I recommend the first one, just for the hell of it, just because it's first. So click on the first one and download it. If you have a Mac, do the same thing and follow the process. Okay, so download it, and once you download it, it's gonna be a zip folder. So open that up. It's gonna be called Red Snow. Open that up. Double click it, and you should see two folders. You should see Mac OS X and Red Snow Win. Okay, window. Win is for Windows, all right? So I have Windows. So before you do anything, click on the folder and drag it to your desktop. Just drag it along to your desktop. Because if you try to open it, um, if you try to if you try to open it from there. It will not work, so uh, yeah, there we go. So make sure you drag it to your desktop or unzip it because if you um, try to open it from there, it's not gonna work. So make sure it's on desktop. So it's right here. The folder is on my desktop. Red Snow. Let me zoom. Let me zoom in. Red Snow right there. Red Snow. So open that up, and you should see Red Snow. You see whole you usually see three notepads and red snow. So click, double click on red snow and you should see this. Now of course you don't have the firmware. So we're gonna go to a website, another website, the last website, hopefully. Um it's called up here, let me zoom in. It's called Felix Bruns.de forward slash iPod forward slash firmware forward slash um, I will have it in the description, so don't worry about it. If you can see, just stay calm and click on it in the description. Now, um, once you're on that site, you should see iPhone Apple Touch in the bottom. Click on, click on the bar, the white bar under it. And let's say you have an iPhone 3G 3.0. Scroll down until you find iPhone 3G, and you see 3.0 right next to it. All right. Make sure you don't click on 3GS because there's no jailbreak for that. So. Just iPhone 3G, or or if you have an iPod Touch, see one first gen, second gen, but make sure it says 3.0 right next to it, because of course this video is mainly for 3.0. So let's say I want to download iPhone 3G 3.0, click on iPhone 3G, and then you should see 3.0 right next to it. Click on that, and click on download. Now I already have it downloaded, but make sure you download it to your desktop so um, you can access it easily. Okay, desktop. Remember, download to desktop. Click download, and make sure you save it to desktop. But it's not really necessary you just need to know where, where you put it so go back on into red snow and click on browse but that's once you finish downloading the firmware click on browse and like I like I told you guys save it in the desktop because it's easier so just click on desktop and look for the firmware it should be all the way down in the bottom it should it should not um, like every computer is different so mine is all the way in the bottom iPhone 1.2 3.0 whatever 3.0, okay, that's a 3.0 firmware. So once you locate it, double click it. And once you double click it, it should say IPSW successfully identified. So if you did that right, that's 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 good. Now click on next. It's gonna say something. Now it's gonna ask you if you want to install Cydia, whatever. Just yeah, of course you want Cydia. Click on next. If you do not install Cydia, then don't even bother jailbreaking, but you need Cydia, right? So make sure that's checked and click on next. 
Now it's gonna say to turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now make sure that first of all it's connected. Make sure that your iPhone is connected before you turn it off. So make sure it's connected to the computer via USB. As you can see. Now once it's connected, turn it off. And wait until it turns off. Don't just make don't just pretend it's off. No, make sure you wait. As you can see, I still have the little spinning wheel of death. That's how I like to call it. <sighs> so let me just... So wait. <sighs> Alright, now it's off, right? It's off, so make sure it's off. Alright, guys? Don't be like, oh, it's off. No, make sure you wait. Okay, so once it's off, get ready. This is the hard part, okay? Are you, are you guys watching? This is the hard part, so make sure you do this correctly. Um, once it's off and connected, and cl click on next, all right? Click on next, and now hold the unlock button for two seconds. Now hold the unlock button and the home button at the same time. Never let go of the unlock button until I tell you to. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let go of the unlock button, but hold the home button, and do not let go until the screen changes a little bit. All right, do not let go. Make sure you do this right, otherwise it won't work. Now hold it just a couple of seconds longer. There we go. So you see the white screen. Then, if you want, you can let it go. So I'm just gonna let it go, and voila. Um, once this is finished, you will have a jailbroken and iPhone or iPod Touch. Trust me, guys. Um, this is pretty much bulletproof. You cannot mess up. All right. Download whatever. Up. Oh, fuck. All right. So guys, um, it crashed on me. If it, that happens, it's normal. Just make sure you hold on to the home button long enough. All right. Don't just let it go right away. Um. So yeah, if it crashes on you, don't worry. Just repeat the process until it you do it correctly. Now remember, the folder must be in the desktop. Right. You must get the zip. Um, you must get the folder inside the zip out of there, right? So make sure you hold the home button because for some reason, if I let go the, of the home button too early, it will not work, alright, guys? So make sure you hold the home button. And once you see the blue thing right here, the blue bars on the on the screen, on the PC screen, and the iPhone looks like this, you're pretty much set. Once this is done, you you pretty much have a jailbroken iPhone and a, or iPod Touch, alright, guys? So um, I don't know if I should be walking you guys through this because it takes a couple of minutes. It doesn't take that much, but you know. And look, well, not even. It's pretty much done. So yeah, um, once again, it crashed on me the first time. I'm guessing because I didn't hold on to the home button long enough. But if that happens, just don't worry about it. See, it says done. So I'm gonna click on finish on the PC. And now look at this. This is what's supposed to happen. Um, once you're this far, you're pretty much set. You pretty much have a jailbroken iPhone and iPod. So, you see guys, this was really easy. Once again, mine's crashed on me and I wasn't scared. Just repeat the process again, alright guys? Um, so, I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay guys, so it's pretty much done now. Let me just unlock it. And you should see Cydia. See, Cydia. You should see Cydia. If you have Cydia, congratulations. You now have a jailbroken phone and iPod or iPod Touch. Now, you see how easy this was, guys? Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. This will take my say 8. Um, excuse me, but make sure you subscribe, comment, rate. I know this works as bulletproof and if not look at my video called how to restore your iPhone up a touch if you're scared and look at my video called how, why you should jailbreak your iPhone up a touch so there you go YouTube Tell me I say 8 make sure you subscribe comment rate Tell me I say 8 out